Hello friends, hello everyone, it's me Gil from English Mind and I'm back here with my friend Anna once again. So Anna, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, about your life, about what you do, about yourself? Hi, um, about myself. I am 24 years old. Very am... old, no, I'm just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> very young, very young. I am studying Did they be... say like young and ripe? Did they say right? <laughs> young and ripe? <laughs> young and ripe, okay. <laughs> uh -huh. um, I am studying to be a nurse. Mm -hmm. Um, on my free times, I like to go horseback riding. Mm -hmm. I love to read poetry books. Horseback riding? Yeah. Horseback. Wow, that's very nice. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love horses. Yeah, yeah. They are amazing animals. Y you know why I get along with horses? Because they say that horses get along with horses as well. So <laughs> <laughs> you're a horse. <laughs> <laughs> half man, half horse. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's on my free time. I read books, a lot of poetry. Um, I watch a lot of scary movies. They are my favorite. Do you like scary movies? I love scary movies. Wow, like horror movies? Like horror, like, like extreme, wow, extremely wow, wow. scary. Wow, like, I don't like this kind of movies because um, I like to watch something that's going to make me feel like relaxed and enjoy the moment. I don't like to watch something that's going to make me feel afraid, you know, or like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, but some horror movies are fun. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's good to watch the them suspense. sometimes. Yeah, the suspense is the best. Like those scenes that you're like dying with the person. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. And then you get scared. In that song, dun, 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 when someone is approaching to kill somebody. Yeah, right, right. it's always so fun as well. A lot of suspense. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. Are you single or married? I am single. Do you have kids? I don't have kids. Do you want to have kids? One day, hopefully. <laughs> One day, hopefully. Yes. <laughs> How many? I'd say I'm uh, about... About three. 10, 11? <laughs> A soccer no. team, 11. <laughs> no, about three to four. Three I used to, to four. Say, I used to uh -huh. say like around five. Because I'm the third uh -huh. out of six children. Wow, wow, Yeah, wow. my mom yeah. had six. Uh -huh. So we're four girls and two boys. But wow, wow. now I'm just like, do I want to, you know... Yeah, my, my mom had six as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. Yeah, but one of us passed away. He was only... Uh, 28 days old when he passed away. He, he was born with this heart problem, so that's why he passed away. Oh, so, so Anna, what do you like to do in your spare time? What do you like to do? What kind of things do you enjoy? The things that I enjoy the most is just uh, nature. I nature. Like, yeah. Okay. I like being outdoors. I like uh, doing some hiking. Hiking? Yeah, I love that. Just sightseeing beautiful mountains sightseeing yeah yeah like, yeah. A, like a nice especially here in utah you can see right? a lot of pretty mountains yeah. it's so beautiful i'm on yeah. just the, uh -huh. the sunrise when it comes up oh yeah yeah but hiking sometimes it can be a little dangerous oh yeah right yeah, yeah i've heard about some people who had like we were involved in accidents when they were hiking so I'm always scared about hiking or skiing as well. Yeah, I, I don't do none of that uh -huh. snowboard or skiing stuff. I'm yeah. a little scared, but maybe one day, we, you know. Yeah, it's fun. But I think that if you get some practice, if you get someone right. to help you to know what to do and how to be safe, it's amazing. It's awesome. Yeah, right. yeah it's, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. But... Yeah, it's really good. So what do you like the most about Utah, about this place? Oh, Utah. Uh, I love that we... The seasons we have. The seasons. We, get winter, we have all the seasons. Right? We get winter, yeah. we get summer, we get fall, we get spring. Be honest. Do you do you like winter? Be I, honest. I love winter, honestly. But sometimes it's so harsh. Sometimes it's so it cold. Is. It's freaking cold out there. It's freezing cold <laughs> sometimes. I'd rather be cold than hot, honestly. But uh -huh. I would ever, I, I, I mean, I love everything about nature. So I, I have no problem with winter, spring, summer. Mm -hmm. I can deal with everything. So With everything? Everything. Yeah, okay. Good, good, good. <laughs> everything that throws at me. So Yeah. And so what's your favorite dish? What my, food do you like the most that you enjoy the most? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so obviously I'm Mexican and I love everything Tacos. Yeah. Burritos. <laughs> no, that's such a cliche. No, I, I like my rice and beans. That's so cliche that they say, right? It, so cliche. Burritos and tacos. It's like, uh -huh. that's so not, that's uh -huh. not authentic. I like my rice, my beans, a carne asada here and there. This kind of things. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I like the enchilada. You know, Enchiladas the enchilada. Enchiladas are so good. Or the carne asada. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. I love Pascoli. Mexican food, food. Yeah. Yeah. So it just, yeah, that's. But I mean, I'm open to everything, so food is always good. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Good, good. Yeah. Are you a good cook? Do you cook at home? Do you um, cook for your family? I, I'm a good cook, but 
my mom just basically takes over. So it's like her, it's her kitchen, her uh-huh. stuff. She's gonna cook. Don't touch it. Right. Don't exactly. touch it. It's mine. It's yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I can kind of sneak in there, but. But sometimes you it? help, sometimes you oh, help yeah. her. Yeah, definitely. Do you learn a lot from her, like uh, about cooking? Oh yes, yeah. how, you know, season how much you got to put in. Uh-huh. You know how, just yeah, everything. So she's her. a really good cook. She's an amazing cook. Well, that's very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really nice when you have someone at home who cooks very well and who likes to cook. Because sometimes people don't like to cook. Right. And then you don't have like a lot of special meals, <laughs> right? You have to spend a lot of money on restaurants. Anna, did you have a great disappointment in life or something really hard that you had to overcome? And what did you learn from that? That was a hard one. I have to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you have an easy life. Because you have a very easy life. Right, so, right. But, Family around and friends and uh, everyone. But maybe like disappointment well, like, or something. Maybe like a uh, fail the class. Yeah. That's a big Make a reason. bad boyfriend as well. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who, who broke her heart. Broke, broke heart. her heart. Broke Anna's heart. No, I, I stay away from Broke boys. the sweet Mexican heart. See, uh, <laughs> it melted away. It melted. No, I stay away from boys. So uh-huh. I'm, I'm very. You like parents... girls. You like girls. No. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like girls. I like boys. But. My parents are very strict in that uh-huh. aspect. So uh, growing up, but that's very nice because you have to, you have to value yourself. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, you have to value yourself. You have also to see that you have this value that uh, people have to respect that. Uh, some men don't have any respect for women, but they should know that uh, uh, women are precious. Right, right, right yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, boys are a lot of work, so I tend to kind of. Stay away because, uh-huh. you know, you got your mind. You got to set your mind into school. But eventually, one day, oh, yeah. you'll find someone. And he'll find Settle me. down. Yeah, settle down and uh, start a family. Yeah, I'm not yeah. I'm not looking, so you're going to have to find me. Yeah, see, if you guys if if you guys are watching this, uh, try to find Anna, okay? She's going to be a good fit, okay? I'll give me my number after the video. Yeah, she speaks English, Spanish. She's pretty. She's really nice, really cool. It's up to you. You have to move. You have to move. Right? <laughs> That's funny. So, Anna, what do you appreciate the most in life? What are the things that you appreciate the most? That you think they're so important to you that you can't live without them? Ooh, my family is something uh-huh. that I appreciate the most. Family, my parents, uh, the values that they have taught me, how to be humble, honest, yeah. caring, loving, kind. Kindness, I think, is the way to yes. the world. Yes. So, when you learn to be kind... You, you just pretty much have everything Like covered. be gentle, be kind, right, be it. nice to people, exactly. yeah, be good to others. Yeah. yeah, so just, you know, and just the humble, humbleness. Yeah, so nowadays we see so much evil in the world. Right. Like people right. trying to destroy or to take advantage of one another. Right. We see sometimes how selfish people are. Especially now on social media, you can see a lot of people fighting and arguing about politics, about so many things. Sometimes this is so bad for our lives, for the community. And kids growing up seeing that, seeing right, these kind right. of things, this is so bad. It, I call it selfishness. The world's full of selfishness, so beware of selfishness. Yeah. Right. Always be kind. Yeah, be nice to others, be friendly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I always say like, treat people the way that you want to be treated. Right. Do yeah. that and you'll be happy. Of course, sometimes you're gonna find some people who are really rude or who don't show any respect, but uh, this is life. Is we have to cope, we have to live, to deal with these things and uh, then uh, we're gonna be happy. Yeah. Anna, do you have a pet? Or did you ever have a favorite pet? Growing up, I uh, used to love the f- fish, fishes. Fishes and, 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 and cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> cockroaches, no, just fish. Fish. And uh-huh. I would always say they were my favorite animals. So I got They're my, beautiful. Right? They're I, beautiful. I got my parents to buy me this huge tank with, you know, different kind of uh-huh. fishes. Call it scale? Yeah. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. Until my brother had uh-huh. a uh, hammer. And he ate the it. fish. No, he, the hammer. He, he just hit it and it just broke and shattered everywhere. The glass? Yep. The, the, the fish tank? Yeah, the fish tank. And since that day, I was like... I don't want any more fish. Wow, wow. They died. All of them died. And so now we have a dog and uh, and chickens. Wow, 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 yeah, wow. baby chickens. So we are very uh-huh. 
loving to chickens. You know, I love dogs as well. Yeah. Actually, I brought my dog from Brazil with me. So he flew all the way from Brazil here. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cute. Yeah, we did that because we loved that dog. We couldn't leave him behind. So we brought him to the United States. And now he's an American citizen. <laughs> he doesn't need a visa. He doesn't need to pay for anything. He can just stay here. He's yeah. an American citizen. But he had to be neutered to come here. Oh, really? Yeah, he had to be neutered. So this was the bad part, but we could bring him. That's so good. yeah, we I have mean, to pay the price. So, but he's here. He's happy with us. So, Anna, what can you say that's the love of your life? The thing that you love the most in your life? Oh man, I love family the most. Uh -huh. Family, my parents, my brothers mm -hmm. and sisters. I think they are just the love of my life right now. It's like I can't live without mm -hmm. them, right? You're missing. If they're missing, it's like a little part of your heart. Yes. You, you yes. grew up with them, right? Yes. And it's like. Yeah, can yeah. I imagine living without my parents or my brothers or yeah. sisters? Yeah, I can't imagine like losing someone you love. Right. I can't imagine. When I lost my mom, it was so difficult. But I imagine like some people deal like with really uh, big losses in this life. Yeah, like losing a, a dad, a mom, a brother, a sister uh, is very difficult. It's very difficult. But now I imagine like losing a, a child, oh, losing yeah. like a son, a daughter. And it's very difficult. I imagine how people can cope with that. But some, some people do. They have to do that. Yeah, but this is life. And uh, But people who face this kind, of, this kind of problems, this kind of situations, I just hope that they may find peace and joy in this life because this is very difficult. Right. right? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's the worst. So. Yeah. So uh, let me ask you this question here. So what's your favorite color? My favorite color is yellow. Yellow. Why yellow? Because it's just so bright. Just mm. it's like full of happiness. Uh -huh. It's the color of the sun. I love yellow. So. Uh, a song. What's your favorite song? Favorite song, Bob Marley. Bob Marley. I want to love you. Sorry. Wow. By Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I want to love you. I want to love you by Bob Marley. Yeah. yeah, that's a good song. Uh, a favorite movie. Favorite movie would be Born in East LA. <laughs> <laughs> so what's about this movie? So it's about this guy who is an American citizen, right? Mm -hmm. It's back in the day, maybe 1980s. Mm -hmm. um, he um, leaves his wallet at home, mm -hmm. then goes to pick up his, his cousin who came mm -hmm. into the United States illegally to this factory. So when he mm -hmm. goes and picks up his cousin to this factory... Immigration comes in. Wow. And takes... You, you, you don't want to mess up with immigration. No, never do that. <laughs> never do that. No. That's a bad they, idea. They take him thinking he's an mm -hmm. illegal or undocumented, just like his cousin. Oh, just because he forgot his, his wallet at home? He had no documentation. So they think that he is living legally in the United States. Yeah, yeah. so they wow. uh -huh. take him back to Mexico, but mm -hmm. he does not speak any Spanish. Mm -hmm. He speaks all English. So then he tries crossing back to the to United States illegally. And he tries and tries until he makes it. And it's it's comedy. It's so funny. Wow, wow, but wow. It's a, it gives you like an overview of how. So he sounds to be like a very clumsy guy. Yeah. yeah. yeah but <laughs> so that makes him funny and the movie yeah, funny. It's, it's yeah. so funny. But. Wow. That's nice. Yeah. I love to watch movies, especially like comedy movies. I love Jackie Chan. Oh, Jackie Chan. I think Chan. he's an amazing he's actor. He's so fun. <laughs> yeah. Jackie Chan. Yeah. He's an amazing actor. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Uh, a favorite place. Do you have a favorite place? Your bedroom. No. <laughs> <laughs> a favorite place to be or like in just uh, in general? Yeah, in general. Like a favorite place. A favorite place would be my home. I don't know. Your home. My bed. <laughs> yeah, the place you can sleep, you can right. watch TV. Be... <laughs> you can just be with yourself, nobody yeah. disturbing you. Right. It's very nice. Yeah. Home is always precious. Right. Yeah. yeah. Take care of your home. Take yeah. care of your home. So friends, thanks so much for watching this video and we're gonna say goodbye to you guys now and please watch the next video. Bye-bye.